Hello everybody. So you know how it is with London buses. You can wait an hour and then all of a sudden two come along at once. Um, bit like that with YouTube videos for me at the moment. Um, so I've just come back from seeing the renal team and, the, and my dialysis team at Milton Keynes. Um, and to confirm what we suspected last night, I'm now off dialysis for a while. So I'm going to have to go in weekly for bloods and they're going to give me my EPO injections. So I'm still barred from Olympic competition. Um, and um, I'll be doing that for at least a couple of weeks, um, by which time hopefully uh, the team at Oxford will be able to get me back and the plan I think is going to be to fit uh, a better coil into the deep brachial vein, block off the flow and hopefully get the cephalic vein working properly. So that's the plan. Um, so I'll give you an update in a couple of weeks when that's all planned. Um, in the meantime, everything, as I say, is in a holding pattern. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully nothing goes wrong. If something does, uh, the plan then will be to fit me with something called a TPO line. Uh, and this is effectively a, a line that will go into my chest and provide access through uh, a semi-permanent line into my chest veins and arteries. And that will be done again in Oxford under the local anaesthetic, but it gives them uh, a... a a, a method of dialysis access that's uh, reliable and will work until everything's back in operation with the arm. So hopefully my bloods will stay good. Um, I mean, my EGFR, the last EGFR before dialysis was 11. Um, once you're on dialysis, for those of you who don't realise, EGFR becomes completely meaningless uh, because the creatinine numbers and the urea numbers by which the EGFR is calculated, because the E is estimated, um, that's what the E stands for, um, are being skewed by the dialysis. So the fact that that was 11 means that there's still some kidney function there. Not a lot, but hopefully enough to keep me going without needing dialysis. We'll see. And if anything happens... I'll keep you up to date, so take care and keep the comments rolling in, and uh, I'll speak to you in a couple of weeks.